Hi, this is Chris from Watchshop UK, and today we're taking a look at the Casio Edifice model number EQW 500 DBE 1 AVER. It's a very long model number, but the watch itself has a very long list of features, so we're going to try and get through them and show you what this watch is all about. Let's remove some of the packaging here. I've already taken it out of the box, of course, and I remove the manuals and, and warranty cards and whatnot. So, this is the watch that we're looking at. I'll give you a nice close up here. As you can see, it is indeed a chronograph. It has two independent stopwatches, world time, and it utilizes what Casio call wave scepter technology. And this allows the watch to synchronize the time with antennas that it has around the world. That's why you also see various names of cities around the outside of the dial here. It allows you to set the time or view the time in those cities. The watch itself is stainless steel, 46 millimeter case by 15 millimeters in height. It has a digital display, tachymeter around the outside, a three button configuration, and is waterproof rated of 100 meters. And that just generally means that you can do light, uh, light swimming, various water sports, with the exception of uh, any type of diving, anything that involves an excess of pressure on the watch itself. As you can see, it's stainless steel with a with a clasp strap, removable links for adjustability, machine stamped back with markings here that indicate the functionality of each of the three buttons and as you can see a small diagram here of what appears to be an antenna just to represent the wave scepter technology that this employs we're currently in what they call timekeeping mode and this is probably the default mode that you're going to have it in most of the time um, the digital display is currently displaying the date um, but there are five modes, so we're going to quickly go through those five modes and just show you um, what this watch is capable of. So, by pressing this button here, we jump automatically into stopwatch mode. We reset the stopwatch thus, and as you can see, the digital display here is showing zero. It has two independent stopwatches, which means we can start one stopwatch, switch to another, indicated by this dial here, start that, switch back, stop the first stopwatch, switch back to the second stopwatch, stop that, reset, second one, And both have been reset. Moving on, you can go into world time mode, indicated by the WT that just flashed up there. And basically what this mode allows you to do is to view the time in um, any time zone. So currently it's displaying the time in Tokyo. And we can just press this button here, and it will change on the fly. Adelaide, Sydney, etc, etc. In this mode you can also change um, the time to um, daylight savings and back again of course. Now we're in alarm mode. Alarm mode, pretty self-explanatory, allows you to set an alarm. You do this manually of course by uh, setting the hands with this button here and moving them to what time 
you require. Currently the alarm is off, as you can see with the OF here, and it shows on when it's on. And then you're into the final mode, which is hand setting mode. This mode allows you to reset any of the hands uh, for any reason whatsoever. You can reset them back to zero manually. And then we're back into timekeeping mode. And now the hands should return to the correct time. Just give it a moment. And there you go. And the date is displayed here again. Just quickly showing off the light around the outside. Do that again. As you can see, it's all around the inside of the dial. There's also a setting that allows you to automate the light so that when you turn your wrist at, I believe it's approximately 15 degrees, the light switches on automatically. So as you can see, this, this watch is exceptionally feature rich and um, a rather smart sports watch. If you like what you see, then please visit our website where you can buy this and many, many more.